Hey gentlemen, thank you for joining me and welcome to The Miles Show, the only show that will give you the real solutions to dating and relationship issues. Now women are the same whether you use cold approach or online dating and sometimes you seem like you have an evil spell on your romantic life because you can't get a date with either approach. Guys, before we get going, I want to remind you of the brand new free ebook that I have just released recently. It's called Get a Girl to Like You and I basically drill down how you can master the art of conversation in order to get a girl to like you. So if I were you, I would definitely go and grab yourself a free copy today by simply clicking on that link in the video's description box right down below and I will send you the free copy now. So I recently got a message from a guy and it says as follows, Hey Ian, I think my love life is doomed. I had a divorce three years ago and I've been trying to get back into the dating game since, but in vain. I joined a couple of online dating apps, but still no luck. Why can't I get online dates? Help. Thank you for sharing your story. I don't think that your love life is doomed, no. Online dating might appear easy, but we are still learning it. People become a bit better judge of characters by identifying non-verbal cues that can be identified online. That's what we will talk about today. So in today's video, we'll look at 10 reasons why you aren't getting any online dates. Your profile needs work. Yes sir, you're not getting any online dates because your dating profile is not attracting women to you. I recently made a video on common mistakes that guys make when creating dating profiles and most guys were shocked. Your online dating profile is how you present yourself virtually. So, it's crucial to make your dating profile interesting to create a positive first impression on women that will visit your profile. All women will visit your dating profile even if they are impressed by your first message. If your profile creates doubts, then the woman will withdraw and you won't get a response from her. Your photo isn't captivating. We all love mascots, but it makes a terrible online dating profile picture. Blurry, sketchy and group photos are some of the reasons that your profile picture is working against you. A woman does not want to guess who she's going on a date with because your profile picture has four guys. She might reach out and tell you to hook, hook up with her with someone from the profile picture that's not even you. So let your profile picture highlight your physical attributes. Even if you have a one pack, embrace it because some women are actually attracted to that you have a popular taste. If You have to be exceptional if you have popular taste in women. I want a tall, beautiful, curvaceous, loving, blonde and adventurous woman. The type of woman you desire has a thousand other guys in her inbox telling her the same things that you are. You have to make your online dating profile and the first messages, you have to make them really stand out. A woman will be interested in a guy that has an approach that's fascinating and unique. Change your dating app. You want a long-term relationship, but you are in a dating app where people are looking for casual sex and relationships. So different dating apps target different types of people. Consider your intention, your age, your marital status, and your financial status amongst other things. If you join a million ahead dating site and you're behind on your mortgage payments, you probably won't be getting any dates there. So choose a dating site that matches who you are and what you want. You need to upgrade your messaging skills. I always tell guys that messaging requires as much attention as talking to a woman in person. Net speak, poor grammar and incorrect punctuations can act as a communication barrier. Messaging is susceptible to misunderstandings and you have to be very careful not to relay a message that you don't intend. Now for example, a woman might assume that you're screaming if you write certain words all in caps. Flat messages like sup and hi will not motivate the woman to respond. So structure your messages in a way that will encourage the woman to reply. You can check out the video I did on tips to create the first message in online dating. You aren't chasing. Most guys assume because they have signed up to a dating site, women will start flowing. Sorry to burst your bubble, but it doesn't work like that. 
Women love the thrill of being chased, even if you're doing it with your computer's keyboard or phone or cold approach. Most women will wait for a guy that shows interest in them and they see it if they like the guy. You will have a massive dry spell on online dating if you don't put your hunter's instincts in play. You have narrowed your search. Some guys are very specific to the woman they want. They can include age, body size, hair color, location, and even the financial stability of the woman they want. It's good to know what you want, but that can be tricky. It can be tricky business in the online dating scene. Women have a very strong default setting for self-preservation. She will not risk reaching out to a guy that she doesn't meet uh, his expectations. So choose your location and cast the net wide to have more options for women that will reach out. When you narrow your search, it makes it more challenging to get dates. You have a delayed response period. In online dating, you don't know each other and when a woman messages you and you take longer to reply, she might assume that you're not interested in her. The downside of online dating is the more you delay, the more hits she's getting on her profile and she might get a hit that she considers better than yours. So responding quickly and making major steps to securing your relationship takes the woman from the online market and focuses on you. You are afraid to take risks. It's online dating and people who have boyfriends on and are there also looking for action. Some guys play it safe and they take too long to call for commitment or action because you don't want to scare the woman. Whilst that is an excellent technique in cold approach, that's not a good approach in online dating. So take the risk and ask a woman out for a well-planned date. A woman will be impressed if you ask for a date that you have a date and venue in mind. It shows your confidence and your leadership skills. Your expectations are unrealistic. People resort to online dating for various reasons. Although everyone's intention is to meet someone, you might not meet the woman of your dreams with the first swipe or message. Your expectation can make you see that you are not progressing the way that you'd want. That might agitate you to think it's not working, but online dating is, a cha is as challenging as cold approach. So being flexible with your expectations will relieve you of the emotional pressure of not getting someone immediately. Now there are so many reasons why you're not getting any online dates, but if you work on the ones that we've discussed, you'll start noticing the difference. Guys, that brings us to the end of today's show. Now remember, if you have any dating and relationship issues that you want to be discussed on The Miles Show, then reach out and we'll give you a functional solution. Also, don't forget about the brand new free ebook that I've literally just released recently. It's called Get A Girl To Like You. Now definitely grab a free copy today by simply clicking on that link in the video's description box right down below and then I will send you your free copy right now. You can also visit karmalifestyles.com for more videos and materials that can make your online dating game amazing. So today you are joined by Ian Miles and I'll see you in the next video.